Let's continue exploring what moons control across the solar system. Neptune's moon Triton isn't even from Neptune. It was captured. Its backward orbit and strong gravity help shape Neptune's thin atmosphere and fuel the fastest winds in the entire solar system. Over 2,000 kilometers h, Mars has two tiny moons, Phobos and Deimos. But Phobos is doomed. Every year it's falling about two meters closer to Mars. In 30 to 50 million years, Phobos will finally crash into the planet, shattering into a massive ring that Mars never had before. But here's the scary part. What if humans are living on Mars when this happens? If Elon Musk's dream of colonizing Mars succeeds, future Martians will witness something terrifying. Phobos growing larger in the sky every century, until tidal forces rip it apart. Before the final crash, sharp rocky debris could rain down, causing global firestorms and destruction. The only safe zones would be underground cities or shielded domes. And after the impact, Mars would gain a giant ring that glows across the sky for thousands of years. Now the strangest pair, Pluto and Charon. Charon is almost half Pluto's size. They're so similar that they don't orbit like planet and moon. They orbit a point floating between them. Their gravity locks together perfectly. A frozen cosmic dance at the edge of the solar system. And then Mercury and Venus, the only planets with no moons. No tides, no stabilizing pull, just silence, chaos and endless heat. 